Well, hello and welcome to IB Washburn Rural Reports. I am Jimmy Wu and today's topic will be on Refson's disease. So let's get started. Firstly, we have the diagnosis. Adult Refson's disease is a rare genetic disease that causes weakness or numbness of the hands and feet, also known as peripheral neuropathy, as well as other issues. This is due to a genetic abnormality and people with Refson's disease lack the enzyme in peroxisomes that break down phytanic acid via alpha oxidation. Phytanic acid, by the way, is a type of fat found in certain foods. As a result, toxic levels of phytanic acid build up in the brain, the blood, and other tissues. This, of course, as said before, mentioned by myself, <laughs> creates nerve impulses upon the victim's hands and feet. This disease usually begins in late childhood or early adulthood with increasing night blindness due to the degeneration of the retina. If the disease progresses, other symptoms may include deafness, loss of the sense of smell, known as anosmia, as well as problems with balance and coordination. Ichthyosis, or dry scaly skin, as shown in this picture, is also present in some situations. But more commonly, there are heartbeat abnormalities known as cardiac arrhythmias. Some individuals will also have shortened bones in their fingers or toes, or a visibly shortened fourth tone as seen in this particular picture. Although the disease usually appears in late childhood, some people will not develop the symptoms until their 40s or even their 50s. So let's move on to the treatment. The primary treatment for Refson's disease, especially the adult reference disease, is to restrict or avoid foods that contain phytanic acid. This usually includes dairy products, as well as meats, such as beef and lamb. Also included in that category are fatty fish, such as tuna, cod, and haddock. Some individuals may also require a plasma exchange, known as plasmapheresis, in which blood is drawn, filtered, and then reinfused back into the body to control the buildup of phytanic acid. Now to the history. Refsen's disease was discovered and named by Norwegian neurologist Sigvald Bernard Refsen in 1945. Now let's move on to genetic reasoning. This particular disease is an autosomal recessive disease, as seen by this particular chart to the right over here. We have an unaffect unaffected father and an unaffected mother, both of which are carriers. They will pass on the genes, or excuse me, the alleles to their children. The father has a dominant allele and a recessive allele. The mother also has the same. One in four chances a child will be unaffected and have both dominant genes. Two in four chances the child will not be affected but will be carriers and have one dominant and one recessive. And one in four chance the child will have double recessive alleles and ultimately have Refson's disease. There's also two different types. First type, known as Refson's disease 1, is more or less dependent on the enzyme known as phytanoyl CoA hydroxylase. Refson's disease 2 is less common and only found in 10% of the individuals. That is due to a gene def deformation on the peroxin 7 gene. And although there aren't too much information regarding the particular race, ethnicity, or sex, Europeans have a higher percentage of people affected with resins. So let's move on to some pictures. This particular picture, well, these particular pictures are of phytanoyl CoA hydroxylase, the particular enzyme that is problematic and translocated 
due to a mutation which ultimately causes the victim to have this particular disease known as Refson's. So let's move on to some medical research. Well, a Refson's disease is treatable because phytanic acid is not produced by the body, but is found in foods. With treatment, muscle weakness, numbness, and dry, scaly skin generally disappear. However, vision and hearing problems may persist, and the sense of smell may not return. Untreated, Refsums can lead to sudden death caused by heartbeat abnormalities, also, as mentioned before, called cardiac arrhythmias. Now, we have to keep in mind that this dis disorder results from mutations in the PHYH or PAHX gene encoding phytanoil CoA hydroxylation. And as mentioned also before, it's known 10% wise in the PEX7 encoding peroxin 7. But overall, with medical research, the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke. NINDS supports research related to Adolf Refsum's disease through grants to major research institutions across the country. Remember, research is focused on finding better ways to prevent, treat, and ultimately cure Refsum's and other paroxysmal disorders. And that is the work cited. I hope you enjoyed this short little presentation. It's not the most in depth thing out there, but Please like, favor, and subscribe for more videos to come. Again, I'm Jimmy Wu, and this is IB Washburn Rule.